Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for Slime Diaries. Logo reveal. If you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshes. Links in the description below. And the YouTuber things, like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And if you want to check out any of my reactions for Slime Diaries, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to the playlist with all of those episode reactions. There's not much to say before an episode, like there's no real recap of the previous episode. I suppose it was the harvest season episode. Boom, that's the recap. This series is very much about its small moments that make up a larger whole of comedic slice of life sort of storytelling. Not so much about the story though. It's it's more about the moments, you know, each individual scene and how it comes together to give a little more life to each of the characters that have been built up through this series through Tensura. And remember, when it comes to Tensura, the new season of Reincarnated as a Slime will be beginning in July with the summer 2021 anime season. And you bet your ass, I will be doing reactions for all episodes in season two, part two. But enough with all that, let's go check out the new episode. Mmm, oranges. I love oranges. Mmm, Japanese culture is probably very different to the people of this world. It's a table, bro. She poke him in the butt? Was Rimuru under there? And she eating through all the oranges. <laughs> That's kind of funny. The arrival of winter. So we went through spring, summer, fall, and now winter. Mm, winter is such a nice time. <laughs> Pointing out, like, kind of the obvious. It's something that's, you know, pretty obvious. Oh. Uh, so you're going to make a uh, fire department? That's facts. Hmm. <laughs> Protect the town by being prepared. <laughs> You like starting fire there. Tempest fire prevention campaign mascot is Benny Maru. Look at him, dude. He's he's like, man, this is some bullshit. <laughs> hey, well, yeah. It's kind of funny. Ah, the healing potion research lab. Let's go. Oh, it's because he's a reptile, so he's cold-blooded. Mm. So he needs to, like, hibernate or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either, dude. <laughs> it's creeping me the fuck out. Oh, he's still a pretty energetic. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Look at little B. And a beetle. Bro, I'm so lost at what is happening here. What? Is that adorable little B? A monster? <gasps> no! Run! Oh, that's a big ass bee. Oh, wow, that bee is the same size as the beetle, bro. I, bro, I swear they were different sizes, bro. This is some BS. Kind of gave me chills, not gonna lie. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> Start working out, little beetle. I kind of had a feeling she was sewing something. Oh, uh, is she making a little sweater for Rimuru, maybe? She seems tired, bro. Crocheting all day, huh? 
Ah. She stayed up all night making it. Or day. I don't understand that you know how long she spent because we only saw a brief glimpse of it. But yeah, Betty Mario is gonna get struck by something, dude. Something's gonna like beat his ass. It just gives me that vibe. Like something's gonna boom and like ruin everything. Cause the peaceful music. <laughs> That's <is> funny. <laughs> Got his little horn booties. <laughs> Little horn socks. Those things are funny. Little bonnets for his horn. Horns. Hey, look who it is. The trio. Dang. That meat do look kind of good, though. <laughs> I didn't realize that Tensura just meant slime. So I could just call it slime. I don't have to call it Tensura. Okay. Dude, how many commercials does this show get? That's wild, bro. I've seen like legit like three of those already. Not to mention the OP. That's like what four different commercial breaks. Whoa. Run. Oh wait, this is a big ass spider. This ain't no Kumoko. This is like a uh, this is Maza. Why is Yom there? Kurobe. Dude, this man is always making the sword for Gopta. Always. <laughs> these, visi these visits wow dude i'm sorry i just i just read it um these episodes seem so much longer because they're broken up into so many parts chips mm. Mm -hmm. yuzu and pepper what is yuzu It's like Damn, you just thiefed her, man. She was about to enjoy that chip. They eat all the chips. They don't share chips. Aw, Geld, you wholesome beauty. Aw, you got to try all the Rimuru. Th Aw, dude, what a great city to visit. I would love to visit this place. <laughs> yeah, I can totally see that, dude. They're like all eating him, man. <laughs> it bugs me that it's all food that looks like me. That's good, man. Ah. Yeah, dude. As long as they, you know, as long as you don't attack them. Um 
I don't entirely know about this. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's um that is a little bit um unnerving for sure. Sweeping leaves. Oh no. Nah. They're just sweeping the fucking floor. Like they're not even like like walkways. They're just like dirt. They're just sweeping dirt. <laughs> this man do you even vape bro do you even vape <laughs> admittedly i think that this series is a little more entertaining for me i mean i know that it's like more of like a slice of life sort of comedy along the lines of 300 slime but this one just it hits differently it hits in a manner that is not the same as other slice of life comedies, just because first of all, it's it's really funny. Like I find that there are many moments throughout these episodes that I actually do laugh out loud, like a good amount, like a nice hearty laugh. On top of that, it's characters that I have known for a while. And this just gives me another reason to like them more. Even though I might've dropped 300 slime, I'm probably not gonna drop slime diaries just cause it's, it's pretty enjoyable. So this episode as Always, it is just a slice of life comedy showing off a few different moments throughout the winter season because this episode was about winter. We've already had a spring season episode. We've had a summer season episode. We've had a fall season episode. Now we're having a winter season episode and slightly tying into the main Tensura story. We see Yume and that group of, of, of people that we later find out is like elves or something. They all show up and he offers this plan, the same plan where he basically said, hey, it was them that took care of this giant beast. It was not us, even though really in, in reality, it was Milam handling everything. But they said, oh, no, it was it was it was those people. And this is a joint effort between us and the humans. Yeah. And so we see a little bit of backstory on that. We see them cook up this giant spider, dude. And just before they cook up the spider, my man's Yume is going through the city and he's like, wow, man, these monsters are not monsters. They are great. They are people just like you and I. I don't, he didn't say just like you and I, because he's kind of like having an internal monologue. But yeah, he's like, oh, these people are great. Uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know why I've thought that monsters are monsters. And then just after these monsters, cooked up a giant spider, like mother-sized spider, cooked it up. They were eating it. Everybody's eating it. And this man, Yume, is staring at the dead carcass in the eyes and while the carcass is inside of like a hot pot. And he's just like, nope, they're monsters. <laughs> and I love the little insert that Rimuru adds there where he's like, all the food that they make looks like me. Yeah, I, I, I would totally be a little uh, about that as well. I would probably say that that was my favorite moment of this episode. Nah, that's definitely my favorite moment of this episode. From here, leave a comment down below what moment was your favorite. Was it also the same moment? Maybe it was the stuff with the bee and beetle. Maybe it was the stuff with uh, Kurobe. Maybe it was stuff with Benimaru, the um, firefighting sort of thing. What in this episode stood out as your favorite scene, moment, whatever? of the episode. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa reactions and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.